hey so now i'll be watching episode nine and i can't wait to see like what else happens this episode what else light comes up with like he's really smart so i can't wait to see that ポテチを取り食べる。絶対だな、リュウ。ああ、絶対に尾行はついてない。は、早くしてくれ。禁断症状が。俺はライトの半径100メートル以内を何度も飛び回って確認したんだ。絶対だ。しかし。ニュースで戦後百人の捜査員を導入というのもあったしな。本当ならこっそり入れるはずと言ってたじゃないか。見事チュドス。ライト、早く、早く。少し、住神使い荒いじゃん。お前、本当に姉妹に俺のデスノート
してもしこれが罠だったらどうする死神が人間を殺すのと人間が人間を殺すのを同じ次元で考えるな何としてもあいつを殺してやりたいが殺せば足がつく<笑>全く不便だよデスノートってやつは<笑>いつも冷静なライトが逆切れか相当来てるなどんな死に方でもエルが死ねば警察を疑うキラの可能性のあるものにはエルの分身でも構わないエルだと名乗っておくこれはエルにとってキラに対するかなり有効な防御であるとともに攻撃でもある何も悲観することはないこれは向こうも何も掴んでいない証拠だあいつも僕も直に接しても騙しない知恵比べはお前が僕に友情を求めてくるなら心よく受け入れてやろう僕はお前を信じ込ませるそして全てを引き出しお前を殺すこの手で必ず So as usual a lot happened in this episode just like all the others But a little bit more now since there's been like a tiny time skip where like he was in high school and now he's a freshman in college And when did you know it? El was there and he's also like super smart and they gave the same speech and everything Like I was shocked when I saw him in the exam room I thought the proctor was gonna talk to Lai about not starting his test immediately, but it turns out he was gonna talk to L because he was just sitting incorrectly. And that moment when they locked eyes with each other, like they felt something, I was like, damn, like I did not expect L to be there. And then at the entrance ceremony, of course he got in. And then they say his name and everything. And then not only that, but he tells them like, oh, you know, I know who your dad is, I know who you are. I know that you helped in a bunch of cases and I'll tell you who I am. And then like, he was like, okay, I'm L. I'm like, what? Like. I was just as shocked as Light was when he told him that because I was like, um, is that a smart move? But then again, it kind of was because like he said right now, he was like, you know, I can't kill him because then it'll be traced back to me. I'll be a suspect, so it's not good. And he's caught me and he's humiliated me, so I can't do it now. And even Ryuk, he's a Shinigami, a god of death. And he was shocked that Light was so angry when he's usually very calm. He was like, damn, like, it reminded me of a scene from the TV show Drake and Josh where one of the main characters, Drake, he's like, whoa, just take it easy, man. Like that. I was like, calm down, man. It's like, he's take it easy, like, chill. And also, like, his sister was home when he was all angry upstairs. And he was, like, not shouting. Like, he wasn't, like, super loud, but he wasn't awake kind of, like, shouting. And I'm like, does nobody in his family ever think to check on him at all? Like, back in episode one, when Light fell from his chair onto the floor. And they have a two-story house. And since I also live in a two-story house, I know how, like, if I were to fall from my chair right now, my mom would be downstairs, like, what was that noise? Are you okay? Like... Very obviously, somebody has fallen and you can tell because of like the sound. And yet his mother in the first episode never went to check on him for that. And now, and now that Light's all shouting at Ryuk, like I know his sister's like younger than him and obviously she doesn't want to disturb him. But also like, you know, like, oh hey, you know, like, she could also be like, hey Yoni-chan, like, are you okay? Like, something, you know, some concern from this family. But then again, she's eating chips and watching TV, doing her own thing, doesn't want to bother him, doesn't want to get bothered, you know. Oh, just like a funny little anecdote type of thing where when I saw Ryuk where he was just like all like spazzing out because like he didn't have his apples because he's like addicted to them and I finally got his apple and he like straightened up I was like hey that's kind of like me in Hawaii because I myself am addicted to hot Cheetos like not the regular kind or the lemon but the extra extra flaming hot Cheetos and I usually eat like one bag a day or at least like some every day and I know that if I don't eat some like in a day or two like I'm fine but typically I'm like I really want to eat hot Cheetos I want to eat hot Cheetos like and then I eat some hot Cheetos and then I feel like okay I'm fine I can go days without eating hot Cheetos, but preferably I would prefer every day eating hot Cheetos. Like Ryuk, you know, he's like, not that he's fine without apples, but like, he's like, you know, I would prefer to have apples. <laughs> like me, I would prefer to have hot Cheetos every day. I can deal with a few days without having them, but typically, like, since I'm so used to eating them, because it's been like years now, I prefer to have them every day when I can. That's pretty much it, and I'm going to be watching episode 10 right now.